Kia ora team and welcome. I'm Ruben from Link Solutions and in this session we're going to be covering how to bulk assign staff members to jobs with Zero Practice Manager. There are several scenarios in which we may need to do this. The most common though is where we have just rolled over the jobs for the year ahead, just before our financial year end. Uh, we're deciding who has capacity and who's going to be working on what clients and we need a quick way to assign staff to multiple jobs at once. So here's how we do that. In earlier sessions we covered how to individually add or remove staff from jobs. But as a refresher on that, you click into any job inside your job manager here. So go into jobs and jobs and go to edit job and we can tick and untick the people we want to be working on this job like so and save. But that's gonna take you quite a long time to do in a job by job, especially if you have a lot of jobs. So a much faster method is to go to options and add staff. And what we're going to do is select start at the top of our list and we're going to go to Anderson McTavish here. And we're going to say which jobs will Anderson work on uh, this year perhaps or which do we want to assign him to now. And uh, we can just tick all of the ones we want him working on. Or we can untick all of them. We can tick all of them and untick the ones he's not. Depends how big your practice is. Uh, but let's say he's going to be working on all of these. Here's all of our New Year's ones perhaps, all these not in um, ones for the year ahead and we'll click next. Cool, the next question it's gonna ask us is which tasks do you want Anderson working on? Now this will be a amalgamation of all the tasks that exist on, across all the jobs you selected. So uh, for now, just select all of the tasks and click save. That'll make sure that um, he's able to do timesheets to all of those tasks. So now if we click into any of those jobs, we'll find now have Anderson McTavish and he will be able to timesheet to any of those tasks. If we'd only selected specific tasks, it would only have added them uh, to those tasks and not others. So if there are some things he definitely doesn't do that exist on those jobs, you could untick those in that scenario. So that's how we bulk assign staff members to multiple jobs at once. It's great if you've just brought on a new staff member and you want to get them involved in a bunch of different projects. It's also the easiest way when you've just rolled over a whole new year's worth of um, jobs for the year ahead and you're deciding who will be working on what. So hopefully you found this worthwhile and I'll see you in the next session.